Welcome to the Goddess Wisdom Podcast. Unveil your inner goddess and weave your sacred light. Join me, Maureen Keefe, the guiding goddess for this journey, and discover ways to claim the power of your divine nature. Explore how to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary and the mundane into the magical. Are you ready to embark on this journey? I invite you to dip your toes into the world of goddess wisdom. Join me now and let the magic begin. Welcome, goddesses. Welcome to the first episode of the Goddess Wisdom Podcast. Oh, my goddess, you have no idea what it's taken to birth this baby, but the Goddess Wisdom Podcast has finally arrived. And now that she's here, let's celebrate her arrival. Why? Why celebrate this? Why does it matter to you? It's all about what the Goddess Wisdom Podcast has the potential to ignite within you. It's my vision that by engaging with the upcoming episodes, you'll become inspired to make the changes you've been thinking or talking about, perhaps for years, or like me, even decades. Whether it be self-care, putting yourself out there more, or maybe instead it's taking time to go within. Are you desiring to learn to or improve a skill, like becoming a healthier cook or a chef? Write that book, learn to belly dance, do aerial yoga, or is pickleball your new thing? Maybe you're realizing that you desire to bring more consciousness to your life, being more present, or integrating your spirituality with your daily life, or even your romantic relationship. Is it time for you to take responsibility for your health, well-being, or relationships? Or maybe you're longing for all the above. By tapping into your own goddess wisdom and connecting with the universal goddess wisdom, heeding her calls and allowing her presence to influence your life, you'll be unveiling what really matters to you, not what is expected of you by others. As you continue on this journey with me, revealing your divine feminine nature, little by little, or maybe with a big splash, you'll reconnect with your soul's pure essence, which is your sole purpose for being here in this life. You'll organically begin to express who you really are, bringing your divinity through you, through your thoughts, choices, actions, and creations. You'll likely reclaim the dreams and visions that you let go by the wayside when you allowed life to take over. But the question is, whose life took over? Yours or the life you were programmed to believe would bring you happiness? It's time to take the reins back. So this is truly an exciting opportunity for all of us. We all win when we begin to express our soul's pure essence. When we do, we harmonize, recalibrate, inspire, and uplevel each other. So let's celebrate embarking on this journey of exploring goddess wisdom together. The activation has begun. As we continue through these Goddess Wisdom podcast episodes, we'll be delving into questions like, what is Goddess Wisdom? And more importantly, how do we tap into it? As women, we're feeling a quickening. Many of us are hearing a still, small voice beckoning from within or feeling urges we do not yet understand, calling us to discover our own divine nature. We know our lives were meant to be more, but we can't quite put our finger on what that is or looks like. We'll identify those voices and urges and we'll learn to understand and even speak their language. It's the time of awakening. We'll be entering the realms of the divine feminine. We'll be exploring this in spiritual terms as well as through practical engagement. It's time. 
it is time to reclaim the value of our divine feminine nature. Most of us have distorted feminine energies. We've been mastering and embodying masculine energies, thinking that is what an actualized woman is. Do note, I may have just pirated an interview quote from Sarah Durham Wilson, the author of Made into Mother, Unlocking Our Archetypal Journey into the Mature Feminine. I've been immersing myself in her interviews and I take notes and I might have neglected to make that a quote. <laughs> so again, most of us have distorted feminine energies. We've been mastering and embodying masculine energies, thinking that's what an actualized woman is. We've all been forced to operate from our divine and often not so divine masculine nature. We've been educated with male models, forced to comply with male mores, as well as male motivational and operational structures and value systems. It's the price we had to pay to enter into the male-dominated world of business and commerce. The thing is, we've gotten really good at it, and in doing so, we're seeing a world that is now radically out of balance. When we reclaim our innate abilities and apply them in our lives, when we begin honoring our intrinsic divine feminine nature, rhythms, cycles, seasons, nonlinear, co-creation, cooperation, honoring the earth, our bodies, our intuition, our relationships, our children, our families, our community, we're going to be birthing a whole new reality. We're not trying to throw out the male or the masculine. Notice that the name goddess includes the masculine God within it. Goddess is inclusive. Once we restore balance, we are ultimately talking about divine union. So a quick little walk down memory lane here. God was originally a woman. Yep, a woman. The creatrix. Women were revered. They brought forth life. They could bleed every month and not die. The power structure was matriarchal and likely matrilineal, not patriarchal and patrilineal as it is in the majority of today's society. I'll put definitions to those terms in the show notes at goddesswisdompodcast.com, episode one. So when men realized their role in bringing forth life, they wanted to claim the power and honor that accompanied that role as well. Right? Like, who wouldn't? <laughs> the patriarchal overthrow was brilliantly executed by translating the Bible in a way that made God a man. Yep, the goddess was given a sex change and she was made a man. Go figure. The original Hebrew Bible referred to God in a genderless term. Yahweh is neither male nor female. By translating God in the masculine form, it made women lesser, inferior, and certainly not God. As with all power shifts, the pendulum had to swing in the extreme opposite way. The masculine energies became distorted and in many ways corrupt. So it's important to remember we're calling forward the divine aspects of both the masculine and the feminine of our own nature first. This is how we reclaim the honor and power of our divine feminine nature. And then we unite them within us. It's an inside job. We must claim divine union within before we can even think of restoring balance outside of us. So this is not about feminism per se. It's about restoring balance. Part of reclaiming the honor and power the divine feminine offers is about restoring the sacred in our lives. To shift power, what was sacred to the goddess had to be made profane, denigrated, forbidden, and mocked. And that's what we've been raised in. So it's time. It's time to reveal what or who our inner goddess is, to connect with her, unveil her, claim 
and embrace her and eventually allowing her fullest, most balanced expression. It is my vision that through these explorations and experiences, we'll ignite new ways of engaging with our lives, inspiring more meaningful, fulfilling, and rewarding connections, activities, and creations. I call this the process of weaving your sacred life. So all that said, who am I? Who is this wild woman that calls herself a goddess? I'm Maureen Keefe, your guiding goddess of this Goddess Wisdom podcast journey. I'm also the divination diva of Intuition Matters Unveiled. I am you. I'm a professional psychic. I have access to all of my clairs, and I am also a gifted empath which I believe with good energetic hygiene and self-care, that being an empath is a superpower. So we'll be addressing this as well, as it is part of your own divine goddess nature. I call myself an ascension coach as I assist you in taking your life to the next level, whether that be business, relationships, or regarding your own psychological, emotional, spiritual, psychic, and intuitive development or well-being. Trauma clearing and breakthroughs are my specialty. I have a laser sharp ability to get to the core issues that are holding you back. And I have tons of tools to get you wherever you need to go. So I'll unveil more of who I am in later episodes. After all, this really isn't about me. It's about what I'm bringing through for all of us. So for now, what's important is I was inspired to create this podcast out of my own desire to reclaim my own inner goddess and to create a more sensual, enjoyable, fun, and meaningful life for myself. Over the years, I've become more and more cloistered, working from home, and since the sea flu, I've gained weight, and I haven't been getting out in nature since my last dog transition. I've also been working 14-hour days, nearly seven days a week for the entire last year. Most of my work entails helping others, so my life has gotten really out of balance. I know others' lives have become isolated and or out of balance too. So drawing upon the wisdom of the divine feminine and the power and traditions of ancient ways, we, together, will restore balance, meaning, fun, and engagement with our lives. Know that if you join me on this journey, you'll be supported in expressing your soul's pure essence on your terms. Be prepared to finally begin experiencing the life you've only dared to dream about. So to wrap up today's journey, I want to take a few moments to thank people who've inspired me. First, I want to thank my sisters, Karen Denae and Della Webb, the original midwives of this podcast. Thank you both for evolving me with your love, friendship, and by being completely you. I also want to thank my assistant, Carl, the Intuition Matters and Goddess Wisdom Podcast hero, troll slayer, graphic designer, miracle worker. If it weren't for him, I would not be here today showing up for you. So with much love and many blessings, from your guiding goddess of Goddess Wisdom Podcast. I bid you farewell from me, Maureen Keith. I want to thank you for joining me today for the Goddess Wisdom Podcast. Unveil your inner goddess and weave your sacred life with Maureen Keith. You're invited to take advantage of an opportunity to turn back the hands of time. Maureen has created a -a one-of-a-kind offering called Drops from the Fountain of Youth. Daily tips for turning back the aging clock and thriving. Learn more at goddesswisdompodcast.com forward slash drops. I look forward to you joining me on another Goddess Wisdom Podcast adventure. Until then, may your journey be blessed in all ways. With love and gratitude from your guiding goddess, Maureen Keefe.